It's a beautiful bacon day, Cookie Crusaders. Today I want to come to you guys about the start of the Nuzlocke series. We're going to go ahead and jump into dark mode, as after some small testing, I figured this was a safe spot to start. We can do certain episodes in story mode, but as dark mode has stronger opponents, I think it is mostly fair, seeing as I have so many of the cookies at maxed star fragments, almost all of them are getting to the point of max level, and I have quite a lot of upgrades and bonds and guild perks that kind of set my cookies at different levels than other players have, so for fair reasons, we're going to do the Nuzlocke series at an elevated level for all these cookies to start. And so the rules are, I can only assemble a team of one cookie and one treasure. Now, if it's a healer cookie, since healers never ever do damage, there is the exception that I can remove a treasure and add an equally powerful cookie in replacement to allow the healer cookie to perform the Nuzlocke as well, like the other regular cookies. So if there's any specific cookies that you want to vote for or that you want to see, just let me know in the comments. I'd love to get your opinions of who you think would be great for this series how far you think that they'll get and the way it works is that we're gonna go through each mission and story and if we don't see any true resistance we can skip five levels ahead at a time but if there is enough resistance then we'll go to see how far that they will get and if a cookie dies they're done they can only be reused after we've cycled through every cookie and at that point they must use a different treasure so I will make note of which have been used so that we don't run into overlap. And I will provide that in the description every time so that way you guys can see what have been run, how far we've gotten, and how well their performance has been. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and start in dark mode 6-1 with Mango Cookie, as this was the first voted one. And the toppings I have on Mango is Searing Raspberry Toppings. For a total power of 112,000 versus 6 1. So here we go. Now I am running the attack scroll as the treasure. This will, of course, give me added attack power. And Mango Cookie has a three wave pushback skill that hits against the enemies and other cookies. But also, interestingly, Mango Cookie provides a seven second attack buff. And that applies not only to her, but to other cookies as well. And so she's got a unique ability to kind of push through with a lot of power, at least on her own. But that does not mean that she will have a lot of defense and health to survive through. And as you can see, we've already lost almost all of our health in the starting 6-1. So it will run close to whether we'll be able to actually defeat it or not. And the other rule is that if a cookie perishes in a world, the next cookie must start in a world prior to that cookie to give them a better chance of lasting. So, for instance, if Mango had died on 6-1, the next cookie would have had to start in 5-1 to keep it fair. So now we are moving to 6-2. We barely just came through that. So we'll see if Mango will be able to get through the shields and the poison of the enemies in 6-2. I'm sure a lot of you who have been playing the Alliance mode have been annoyed at the shields in Wave 7, 18, and also 28 if you've gotten that far, as there's a boss with the shields in there. I have discovered that um, Affogato Cookie... Dark Cacao and Twizzly are the three guaranteed cookies to remove shields. What happens is Affogato, when the poison bubble is placed on other cookies, then the shields disappear, and only for the one that is targeted, of course, and uh, the poison bubble is replaced instead. Dark Cacao and Twizzly, they just have the text that says delete shields altogether, and so they run it differently. And it was actually a surprise to me to see that Affogato removed the HP shield on the targeted unit. I discovered it on accident in Alliance mode when I was in boss 28, and Affogato was uh, giving 
the battle to that boss and the shield went away and I was like wait what what just happened so that was an interesting thing to discover as you can see we just barely escaped through on 6-2 we took 60,000 damage total before we go to 6-3 I will show you the health of mango cookie at level 51 with all of my upgrades and that's 78,000 so we only had 20k health left before we were about to perish now this time on 6-3 we're going to be facing pomegranate cookie in the dark mode version as well as the other enemies so there is a smaller chance that we will win this one but hopefully the attack boost from mango cookie provides through and that wave push from her skill is pretty helpful I also haven't upgraded the toppings I'm still debating on whether to do toppingless nuzlocks as well uh, you guys can vote for that in the comments as well too whichever you think is more fair because at least with topping being removed off it would give a more raw power understanding of each cookie and how they fare in singleton modes but sometimes the toppings might be needed so whichever you guys think is fair I definitely like to hear that so under half health bar at this point nearly two-thirds of the wave cleared we got just a little bit more I think we're still gonna pull this one off it's really depending on how pomegranate's gonna uh, operate against us because pomegranate also gives an attack boost to surrounding um, allies but there is healing from pomegranate too so that could be troublesome but thankfully our skill is going to be ready but it gets knocked away because of the stun it's really close I don't know if we'll take it we just barely miss it so mango cookie has been defeated so we're gonna go ahead and go ahead and end this video here as I want to see your guys' votes and thoughts on who the next cookie should be and then we will move on to the next Nuzlocke going back to 5-1 in the dark mode Thank you so much for stopping by, and have a wonderful night.